Hey, what's up, y'all? You're tuned in to the Top 50 Greatest Guitar Riffs, and my channel is youtube.com slash mgfreeguitarlessons. And thank you for tuning in. That was Linkin Park. I already have one in the Top 50, and I have a student um, <laughs> that I have to do it, man, for him. He's a cool dude, and he wants to see his favorite band, Linkin Park, in there. And this song is called Paper Cut from Linkin Park. So step number one, let's jump right into this, guys. Um, drop C sharp on the tuning. So on your tuner, tune that to a C sharp note, okay? From there, if you know how to drop D tune, you use that same concept. There's different ways to do it. C sharp, skip a string, that's a, D, that's a C sharp as well. But from, the, from there on out, you could go... So, I'm going to assume most of you guys can know how to tune to drop C sharp. I promise you I will do some drop tune, some alternate tuning lessons in the future. Okay, so let's jump right in. We're gonna, I'm going to show you the intro and then the part right after that, okay? And so what you want to do, take your first finger, bar fret 10. Leave it there, don't move it at all through this whole intro. Any movements taking place will be with this and this. Or if you choose to do it like that, but I do it like this. So we're going to go E and B, and let's see how they're ringing together, you don't, that's why I'm telling you to bar it, you don't want to go, keep it barred. Then take your third finger, put it on fret 12 on the high E, and we're still barring over here. Do the same thing, E and B. Okay, next part, take your pinky, go to fret 13 on the high E, I'm still barring, do the same thing. Then go back to the 12th fret with your third finger and do the same thing, E and B. So I hope I'm not moving too fast for you. If so, rewind it, you know, a little bit and recheck it. Because you do want to do this stuff slow. Pause this video once in a while while you're sitting there at the computer and then practice it a little bit. Rewind it, play it, and try to play along with me on it up to tempo. But don't rush yourself, man. Play this stuff slow, make sure it's clean. And then when you get tired of doing that, try to do it up to tempo. And if you're fumbling over it, you'll know. But once in a while, you do want to push yourself and go faster with something. But remember, you got to pull yourself back. And ev eventually, someday, you'll have control of going however fast you choose to go with it. You know. So here's that intro. Slow down two times. You can leave this third finger down right now if you want. And then up to tempo, it's about like this. So it's four times. One time is this. You want to do that four times. Next part that comes up. We're going to do power chords up top. Just hit the two top strings open. Go down, up, down. Well, you can do downs as well, I guess. You can go. But I'm going down, up, down. And we're going to play what's called octaves. Take your index finger, go to fret 8 on the A string, and skip a string and a fret and go to 10 on the G. So we got the, you know, you're probably thinking, what are we going to do with the middle string? Well, your index finger should be muting that, not pushing it down, grazing across the top of that string. And that's called an octave. We won't get into why it is, but trust me, they're octaves. And then you're going to hit from the A string down to the G. Take your index, go up there and Tuck it underneath the low E while you're at it, so you don't have that string accidentally ringing. You should only hear two notes here. Those two. And I wind up catching that with an upstroke. Don't worry about that if it's too much right now. Take that, move it back a half step to 7 and 9. We're still doing an octave, just on a different fret. So. Okay, then move over here, bar everything on the third fret with your first finger. If you're new to bar chords, then you want to work at barring as many as you can for right now. It'll come together, guys. You'll see. So bar all of them. If you can only get three, cool. Then you know, make four your target. If you can only get four, make five your target. You know what I mean. Eventually, you'll get all six. Then take your third finger, go to 5A. Your pinky, put it right underneath that on 5D. Okay? And check them first. Go. Oops, I'm sorry. Hope I explained that right. Third fret is barred. Don't put your third finger down. 
on the A, put it on the D5, put your pinky under that on the G5. I hope I got that right. If not, I just fixed it. Okay, so we have. I'm going up, I'm going like this, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. The beat should be da, 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 da. Um, they cut into the last one to go into that next part. Don't really sweat it. Try and get those two parts that I just taught you guys down. And thanks for tuning in, guys. That's going to wrap up Lincoln Park Paper Cut. Um, your tuning drop C sharp on this. All right. If you're not subscribed, do it, man. I appreciate it. I like getting you guys all signed up, ready to go. You're jumping in on a really cool thing. I guarantee you. Been doing it a long time, so um, and I will take your guys' requests. I'll answer your questions. I'll get right back with you. If you look on my comments now, everyone that leaves something, I make sure to to let them know I appreciate them and help them if they have any questions. And I will continue to do that. I've got some cool things coming, website, all that, very soon. So you'll be seeing a lot of me, guys. My mug. All right, you guys, keep practicing. We will talk to you soon. Now go subscribe. Just do the right thing. Come on, man. Just do it. Do it for Mikey. Please. All right, see you later.